When working with an on-screen takeoff, you can add a legend to your images so that others can more easily decipher your takeoff. You can activate the image legend by clicking the View menu at the top of the screen and selecting Image Legend. You can also simply select the Image Legend icon along the right-hand side of the screen. The image legend displays, by default, in the top left-hand corner of the image. Note that if you're zoomed in on the sheet, you'll either need to zoom out or pan to the top left corner of the image to see the legend initially. You can, however, move it by selecting it and then clicking and dragging it with the left mouse button to a new location. Once the legend is selected, a text format bar appears on the screen. This allows you to change the font style, size, color, whether it is bold, italicized, or underlined, and the text justification. If you make a change in this box, you're asked if you'd like to apply the same change across your other sheets as well. You also have the option to set these changes as your new default settings for future use of the image legend. By default, the image legend is grouped together. When grouped, the image legend has a white solid background. You can also ungroup the legend and move each line item around the screen individually. To do this, right click on the image legend and deselect the group image legend option. Then, click anywhere on the screen to deselect. From here, you can click each item individually and drag it where you want to place it. You can also rope around multiple items and click and drag to move them together. At any time, you can right click and reset the image legend back to its default settings and position or regroup the image legend. By default, the image legend shows quantities for the entire page on which you're currently working. However, if you have multiple bid areas on this sheet, you can filter to show the quantities only for the selected bid area. To do this, again, right click on the image legend and select Filter Image Legend to Active Area. The quantities now only reflect the numbers for the actively selected bid area. The image legend also works in tandem with the Layers tool. If you have layers set up in your job and you then hide a layer, the conditions that are then hidden are removed from the legend. When you select the checkbox to make the layer reappear, those conditions are then added back to the legend. The legend itself belongs to the annotation layer, so note that if you hide that layer, you'll end up hiding the entire legend as well. The legend allows you to show the condition number, condition type, condition name, and quantities 1, 2, and 3 for the conditions on the page. However, you can modify what actually displays in the legend. There are two ways to do this, at the bid level for the specific bid you're on, or at the database level for every new bid you create within that database going forward. To change the image legend display settings for the bid in which you're working, open the cover sheet. Then, navigate to the Preferences tab. There's an image legend section to the right. Here, you can select exactly which quantities you want to show. You can choose whether you want a quantity label, the condition number, or the condition type to display, and you can also change the default sort for the legend. Press OK to save your changes. The changes are now reflected on the current bid. You can also change the default image legend settings for all future bids going forward, rather than doing it for each individual bid. To do so, select the Tools menu at the top of the screen, and then select Options. Then, select the New Bid tab from within the Options window. There's an image legend section to the right, with the exact same options as within the cover sheet. Select your preferences, and then press OK. Now, whenever you add an image legend to any new bids you create, it gets added with those settings.